everybody i'm here to very quickly do my tbr takedown 3.5 tbr this readathon is hosted by leaning lights this is my first time participating in tbr takedown and uh, i do know that since it's a shorter span of time i feel like this is a kind of ambitious for three almost four days but i'm gonna just roll with it because some of them should be fast reads and one of them is pretty short on this tbr i have three books and one of them is going to combine for two of the challenges so the challenges are read a standalone catch up in a series read a book on your shelf that's been there the longest and read a book from your most recent haul i shall start with the standalone and that is Juliet. This is by Anne Fortier. This was given to me by my supervisor. She thought that I should try it out. And it basically follows Julie, who gets a key from for a safety deposit box, and she kind of has to go through this mystery of finding out more about her ancestors, who is actually Julietta, aka Juliet from Romeo and Juliet. So kind of figuring out, going back and forth between 13th century Romeo and Juliet and then present day Julie trying to find her own Romeo I guess. It's kind of just historical fiction as well as trying to connect those two threads into one. My supervisor said that what she found most interesting was going back to the past uh, but that it was still a good enough read for her to think that I should I would like it so I'm gonna give this one a shot so I can give it back to her soon. This one's kind of long it's more than 400 pages and the text is kind of small but I'm gonna try and see. Maybe it's really addicting and I can get through it. The next one I'll talk about is the Catch Up in a Series and this is also going to be my Been on Your Shelf the Longest and that is the second book of The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants by Amber Shars. I read the first one during Slay That Series and I really enjoyed it and I told myself that I would go on to the second one very soon so I'm gonna use another readathon to get me to read this book as well. I read the first one in a day, so I'm hoping that that goes the same for this book too, and I can read it in a day as well. Since I had watched the first movie, I kind of knew what to expect from the first book, but I have no idea what to expect out of this one. So yeah, I'm excited to find out where all the girls are at and what's going on in their lives. And the last one is the from your most recent haul. And this isn't really a haul, I guess. We have a bookshelf at our office and you can just take books. So I guess that's where I got my haul from. And that is Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None. And this is supposed to be like a masterpiece. Agatha Christie is known as like one of the four mothers of mystery as a genre. It basically follows all these people in a mansion and people start dying. <laughs> So you're trying to figure out who's the killer and how many of them are going to end up surviving. It is very short and it is pretty big text so I think I can do this one as well as this one probably in one day and that's what I'm hoping to do. So those are my three that I'm trying to attempt during this readathon and yeah we'll see how much I end up reading. I'll probably vlog it as well and then you can see my wrap up too. If you guys are participating in the TBR takedown 3.5 let me know so I can watch your TBR and we can continue to cheer each other on when it comes to readathons. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye!